Uh, so this is a book of second Jesus, a 15 in verse 28. It read, Behold, an horrible vision and the appearance is therefore from the east, where the nation of the dragon of Arabia shall come out to many chariots, and the multitude of them shall be killed as the wind upon the earth, that all they which hear them may fear and tremble. Uh, so the commandian, uh, legend last, shall go forth as the wind bore the wood, and with great power shall they come and join the of them, and shall waste a portion of the land of Assyria. So all the praise, honey, and glory, and to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahushai, and Bahashem, Lakaha, Kandash, and the Bahana to the Elder, and the Apostles of the Son who do well, a peace, blessing, and salutation to Yahweh, who are pushing this through the horns of the heaven, and be on the forefront of the spiritual war, and to make sure Jerusalem is established as a praise here on earth again, as in the days of all the soul. It is another a news and a prophecy a coming to you through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yashai by your presenter from the MWS the Church of Tanzania and uh, uh, without uh, any further ado uh, I will start uh, you see uh, we see the algorithm of all the three all news uh, concerning the said war and which uh, I have received uh, within the past uh, one or two years, one or two uh, days, Salaki. You see, so it is uh, what you see news uh, within the past uh, 24 hours, and I will be reading titles. Uh, if you want to watch them, you can go uh, to this channel known as the Audio Watchman. So there is a lot of things you see going on on the geopolitical world. And it goes hand in hand. Uh, we see the dig to owl, the dig to owl. That's a new thing. That's a new name. That's a new code name. If you don't know what the dig to owl is, it's the moti b. So if you don't know what the moti b, then you are likely not serious with this thing, man. You see, so I will dive into it. I'll be reading headline, and I will grab a few scriptures, and I will be out of fear. So. Starting from, I will start from one day ago. It say, uh, Israel on alert. Israel alarmist claim lays is a stake against Iran. Uh, this news it goes into uh, Israel have raised the stake or the chances in which they will strike Iran. And this year, I should tell you that uh, when we are close enough. Uh, you see, if those chance, chances get raised past the 50 percent mark going all the way say to 80 percent mark it simply means the war can happen at the end of this year or the, 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 the starting of the next year whatever man it's all in the uh, timeline of the moshia man uh, we as men we can speak but hey, amen the moshia is the one who uh, have authority in everything you see uh, and at the end of the day his counsel will prevail man you see but as is many, starting with our elders, the apostles, men, we wholeheartedly believe the end <laughs> might as well be next year. That's why you see all of this news, man. And the news is getting tighter and tighter concerning the geopolitical world. You see, uh, here you have, I will read the news. Uh, the Russian, you are trying to do uh, some, what you call military combat in the uh, border near Ukraine. You see, and the NATO was angry. Uh, China, also in the South China Sea, a lot is going on. Uh, Taiwan, we are complaining that China is closer and closer and closer uh, to invade Taiwan. So, another news is almost uh, 600 Taliban fighters left dead uh, by Panjahiri forces, man. So, even the Taliban are meeting resistance. So, there is no peace for you, wicked men, especially you, well, might. So you were mighty, you took the nation of Israel into slavery, man. You see, you took the nation of Israel into slavery, so you are not exempt from judgment. So there is a lot of things going, man. 600 Taliban got put to death. That's judgment. <laughs> you can consider that a judgment on a biblical level, man. 600 people. So it say breaking up, uh, breaking U.S. troop will be going back into Afghanistan. And they will, be, they will be not going there as the guest of honor, man. 
they need to apply force in order to, to win Afghanistan because Afghanistan right now is, is somebody's territory. And that will bring more, even more tension. That's why we are telling you this, this thing can pop up any time, man. Any day. It's any day, man. We say, and uh, we say, war fear, Hamas operation launch incredible balloon into Israel, man. And this balloon, when they go over there in Israel, they just bust. You see, and you can't, you can't, you can't intercept these balloons, man. Because in order for you to intercept something, you see, those you, what you call the uh, Patriot missile or Iron Dome defense, they intercept missiles, not balloon. You see, they say war fears, Taliban turned down resistance leader proposed on ceasefire. Uh, so there is, there is another resistance group apart from uh, Taliban over there in Afghanistan. And that's Afghanistan over there, that's yes, so the, it is near the valley of our Shapat, man. So all of that religion, man, will be on fire in the coming few days. So Israeli IDF chief, we have a plan in place for when we decide to attack Iran. So it is any time soon, man. And you people who continue scratching your head, this is sinking. Uh, uh, when you're gonna repent, when you're gonna, you're gonna start going out and teach, when you will stop all your bullshit and live uh, with a life of integrity, man. You have, you need to have a bottom line, man. You see? You need to have a bottom line, you need to detach from this life, man, emotionally and physically. Because this thing is any time soon. Israel have all the plans, man, to, 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 to strike Iran. That's why I pulled the second days as 15, man. Verse 29 says, Where the nation of the dragon of Arabia shall come out with many chariots, and the matrix of them shall be carried as the wind upon the earth, and that all they which hear them may fear and tremble. Yes, was a commandian that's going to alarm. You can include that uh, with the Afghanistan force. So I have another news here. I'm going to uh, Dina Melia Calmet. I was listening. So he have, you see, like he, like he have written about his, in the description box about his broadcast, so I will be reading from you. To say frightening warning about approaching solar flare destruction, you see, revealed within revelation, and which is that, that, that is not a revelation, it's a solar flare, man. But it can happen anyway, man. Uh, you can put this in the uh, strange thing, man, the strange thing which the Lord will be doing upon the face of the earth, man. So you can include that there. It says the mark of the beast, in which this woman knows how is the mark of the beast, even though he is not pushing it as it's supposed to, to be pushed. He says Israel, Israel destroyed Syria missile battery that fired toward Tel Aviv. So the Syrian army, uh, a few days back, it can be one day or two days, or three days, I think, it fired the missiles to Tel Aviv, man. <laughs> And that should tell you this is gutter that you are not uh, invisible. And that's what they, right now they are very prideful. But you have Hashem Yashai will turn this thing around. And uh, during the midst of what you see, they will come to find out that they are not invisible at all, man. And that's where um, understanding will be taken out of freedom, man. Understanding will be taken out of Timan. Understanding will be taken out of Wissau. That's why the scripture tells you they will be like uh, uh, women, uh, women. Uh, let me see. Let me see something. So this is a book of Jeremiah. You see, Satan five is safe. What says the Lord? You have Hashem and Shai. We have heard the voice of trembling. Of fear, not of peace. Ask ye now and see whether a man does travel with child. Therefore, do I see every man with his hand on his loin as a woman in travail? And all of us are turned into paleness. See? And all of us are turned into paleness. And that's what's going into Jacob trouble. It can also apply to Esau's trouble. Uh, leave alone is a skull. The skull is always talking about the context, the context. The scripture can be interchangeable, man. It was talking about Jacob trouble, but it will be Esau's trouble. It will be this other nation trouble, man. See? So it say uh, another thing he say, Chinese ambassador warned of, of disastrous, disastrous consequence of US take hard line on China. That's the chi South China Sea. Another hotspot, man. See? It say the US greet 
Coast Guard Pacific Chief say China new maritime rule very concerning. So this is as a, as a, as a, the nation which will come out of the east. And then we have let's let's go and continue the second days as my second days as number 15. Let's see, let me see. Let's jump to verse 34. It said, Behold the cloud from the east and from the north unto the south, and they are very horrible to look upon, full of rush and a storm. And they shall smite one upon another, and they shall smite down a great multitude of star upon the earth, even their own star, and the blood shall be from the sword unto the belly. From the sword unto the belly. So that those are the, uh, the cloud from the east, just going to China. Moab and Ramon and all the nations from the east, including Iran and uh, the Arab nations, man. They really have a huge day on you, the Babylonian, and you got a lot of us in the state of Israel. Another news is say Taiwan is scrambled jet against renewed Chinese military activities. That is an, an ongoing thing in which it will turn into a dangerous situation. It's saying not to call on Russia to to be transparent with the military exercise. And as the Russian answered and said, Russia have no responsibility to answer back to NATO. So it is war, man. It is war out of here, man. It is not time for peace, man. So Russia under, you see, listen, is that to this? Russia under no obligation to report back to NATO about the drills. So, amen, let me go and finish here. You see, verse 36 is saying, A dung of men unto the Kemhu, and there shall be great fearful and trembling upon the earth, and they that see the Lord shall be afraid, and a tremble shall come upon them. And then shall there come great storm from the south and from the north, and another part from the west. That's going to the nuclear missile, and a strong wind shall arise from the east. Woo! And shall you open it, and the cloud which he lays up in last. That way the cloud it is going to the formation of the new uh, the, the, the head of the nuclear missile. And when you go to uh, the book of Revelation 9, if I'm not mistaken, actually Apostle John he saw you see the head of the missiles and uh, when they were uh, in the uh, what you call the uh, the atmosphere because when the nuclear missile and all the atmosphere the atmosphere they eat it turn lead that's why he likened them to, to a star so uh, technically to speak he, he, revelation 9 years was going to incarnation because when apostle john he saw those missiles he was literally in, in america he was at ground zero that's why he was able to count the missile where do you think apostle john was to be able to count the missiles. Do you think he was over there in the land of Israel standing and, the, and the he's watching America like in the big screen? No, man. He was in America. You see, he was in America and he looked in. When the missile was about touching the zero, he numbered them, man. Literally. See? See? Literally. See, it's saying the stars and the, the stars tired it to cause fear towards the east and the west wind and it shall be destroyed. So the stars is going to the nuclear missile. See, another incarnation is seen with, with, with Ezra. Ezra, so when he received this revelation, he was in America. So right now, Ezra <laughs> and the Apostle John is all in America, man. <laughs> all the great prophets are in America because in America that's their last kingdom, man. See? If you can get that, it said a great and a mighty cloud. As I was going to Apostle John, he numbered the nuclear missile. So, them nuclear missiles will be many to the extent that they will block the sun. They will be like cloudy, but another, another cloudy, lady cloudy. That's why we call the, new, the lane of the nuclear missiles as a strange lane. I did a lesson on that. A strange lane. Uh, that cloud of the nuclear missile will come with a strange lane. He said, A great and a mighty cloud shall be puffed up full of rust and the star. So that, that cloud will be laying out stars with fire. <laughs> you see, laying out stars with fire. And that they may make all the earth afraid and them that dwell therein and they that pour out of every high and imminent place a horrible star. Say, fire and hail. 
I have done a lesson again about Haley Mingo Deep's fire. That yes was going to the nuclear missiles, man. And a frying sword. <laughs> it can't get more clear than that. And many waters going to the lake of fire. It will be uh, see, you know you know water is this enormous. It is it is interchangeable with, with fire. That's why the first day the first day was through fire, was through water salakia. The second day it will be through, through fire. That whole field may be full on all rivers with the abundance of great water. The abundance of great water, it was talking about the lake of fire, man. And you niggas, you two said you'll be able to swim into that lake of fire. See, so with this, I say, Shalom, and the Salak for the background noise, man. You see, we are not in our kingdom, so there's a lot of disturbance, man. So, hey, man, I hope you are divided onto the next thing. <laughs>